Hello, uh, TJ Rao, a manager of customer success coming here with your CSM Minute for the week. I don't have any great farm puns like Michael Schiano, but I do have some great time entry enhancements that came out last fall to give you guys uh, a little view on. Um, before we get started and actually the functionality of it, I want to call out a few organization things. Up in the top left corner, we do have a new info box that gives good information on where your time entry approval sits. Uh, as we go to the right, we have your clock time. Uh, that is your total clock time. That's your clock in, clock out for the day, uh, time associated with that. You have your work time, which is the 8.25 hours right now that's uh, associated with these work tickets. And then we have the 2.25, which is the difference between our clocked and our worked, which we will need to allocate or spread in the time entry process. Um, we do have the ability to collapse these rows now, um, which allows you to see things uh, in a more uh, delineated format. And then we're gonna go ahead and start looking at um, some other organization things we can do, including choosing which branches and direct time we are showing in our, uh, in our time entry. So you can select multiple. If you have all branch access, obviously you will see everything. So you can select multiple to see multiple branches and direct time, or you can select all if you have all branch access and you will see everyone. Um, as we go into um, as we go into the actual time on the ticket, all right. Like I said, we have 2.25 hours left up there. Hopefully, most of your time is coming from mobile. But if you are manually putting in time, I know I used to really hate the uh, having to figure out the 24-hour uh, time when I was doing this. Um, but one thing that you can do, if you know that they work till 7:30, you can do 7:30 and do P. And it will populate that 24 hour time for you. Go ahead and associate their time with that. Oop, I overclocked them there. Sorry about that. We'll go to 5.30 p.m. All right. Now we have a difference of 0.75 left. If I were to just save this timesheet, it will spread this time, that 0.75, proportionately across these three tickets. Uh, so at, based on job time work. So the frontal cabin would pick up the most then Larry Terrace mowing, and then the 1.5 hours of the Harry's Horse Farm will pick up the least amount of drive time. I'm gonna go ahead and just save that and spread that drive time. All right, when I go back in there, I will see that that drive time has been spread proportionately across those three tickets. Uh, well, let's say for some reason uh, I goofed up and I need to not have any drive time associated with the Frenzel Cabin. I can zero it. The other thing that I could do would be if I just wanted to take it down to a lower amount of drive time, I could do that. Whatever the change is there is going to go back up into the difference. We see our 0.46 here. And now I can select these two other jobs that aren't the frontal cabin. And I can save that drive time. And when I go back in, you will see that the frontal cabin took on no drive time. And that uh, remainder, remainder was spread proportionally to the other two tickets. So a lot of flexibility there in how you control your drive time spread. Um, the default is going to spread it proportionately based on time work that day. If you have any questions about any of this or you want to talk some theory with your CSM on uh, where should time be allocated, does it go to indirect, should it go to direct, uh, how is best control that, then definitely reach out to your CSM. They're going to be a great resource for you. We talk to a lot of different clients weekly who do employ a bunch of different strategies. So uh, definitely reach out. You'll be able to get a good idea of what some other people are doing uh, if you have any interest in adjusting how you're controlling your time entry. So thanks for having me here with you today. I look forward to seeing you guys out there. I really look forward to seeing hopefully all of you at Ignite in August in Orlando. Uh, if you haven't registered yet, get out there and register. I'm sure there's something else in this email about that, but we definitely want to see you there, and I look forward to seeing you there. So thank you all, and have a great day.